Settled before the American Revolution, Hillsboro was a bustling center for commerce and trade and a transportation hub for one of America's richest agricultural regions. Nestled in a gap on a key travel route through the Blue Ridge Mountains, Hillsboro prospered and thrived for more than a century. At the end of the 1800s, Hillsboro was changing and slowing down. Railroads bypassed the town and the town's commerce and trade declined. By 1995, the sleepy town in rural northwest Loudoun County faced change again. Development was occurring all around. In town, decaying infrastructure threatened at public health, and Hillsboro was besieged by an ever-growing flood of commuter traffic. Regional growth turned Hillsboro's narrow main street into a congested commuter corridor where it was no longer safe to even cross the street. The challenges for this small town with its limited financial resources seemed overwhelming. Building needed infrastructure as individual projects was untenable as it would dramatically increase costs and extend construction for years. The town needed a consolidated plan, partners, and funding. In 2004, town leaders launched an ambitious plan to tackle traffic and its infrastructure challenges. Over the next 15 years, they worked diligently to find a solution. They brought in experts, wrote grants, attended hundreds of meetings, conferences, and workshops, all while telling the story of Hillsborough. Embracing a traffic calming strategy and engaging leading experts, a concept evolved, a solution took shape. In 2006, a three-day design charrette fashioned the concept that would drive the town forward and become the project's ultimate blueprint. Two single-lane roundabouts would ease congestion and anchor a traffic calming system of raised crosswalks. Sidewalks would welcome pedestrians, recessed bays allow safe parking, and multimodal trails would be added to link the entire town. Context-sensitive materials would be used throughout to preserve the town's historic integrity. Reclaiming Hillsboro's Main Street had begun. Hillsborough's story took hold. The request for partnerships was being heard. The ask was clear. Build it once, build it now. Save millions of dollars and years of construction and burden on the corridor. By 2015, traffic topped 17,000 vehicle trips a day with significant congestion during every morning and evening rush hour. The town had amassed a trove of data as it applied for every federal, state, and local grant possible. Urgency to secure funding was critical to its common sense build at once strategy. Loudoun County was first to step up with a funding commitment, and town leaders stepped up too, taking ownership of the road project and embracing the adage, proceed as if success is inevitable. The town then turned to the Northern Virginia Transportation Authority. Hillsboro was included in NVTA's transaction plan in 2017 and was poised to apply for funding in NVTA's first six-year plan. The town's strong data-driven application put the project in the running. The authority asked questions, listened, and analyzed. But ultimately, it would be the tenacity and intensity of the project supporters that pushed Hillsboro over the top. At the pivotal May 2018 NVTA public hearing, more than two dozen community representatives, the Hillsboro 26, arrived on a charter bus to make their case. And then Hillsboro's fate was forever changed. The Hillsboro project made NVTA's cut and the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors offered the balance of funding needed to make the project real. Celebration ensued. The hard work began as the project's design engineers, Volkert, artfully knitted all the projects into one, and in the fall of 2019, Hillsboro awarded a contract to the construction firm Archer Western. And from here, the story is well known. 
On March 6, 2020, hundreds were on hand, including Miss America, to move some dirt and celebrate the official start of construction. Everything was underway, and then a global pandemic hit, and days later, Hillsborough's old water main under Route 9 collapsed. Facing a public health crisis and seeing dramatically reduced traffic, Hillsboro, VDOT, the Virginia Department of Health, Volkert, and Archer Western pivoted. The construction schedule was completely redrawn, and Route 9 in the town of Hillsboro was closed to provide a safe work zone. In early May, Hillsboro became one large and complex work zone with crews deployed end to end bringing a new water system online, and completing major excavation in the summer. As construction hummed, the town got to know the workers. They hosted them at worker lunches that also supported local restaurants. A strong bond and sense of shared ownership and pride was formed. By fall and winter, the concept of more than a decade ago was materializing. Talented masons built the walls to retain the roadway. Excavation crews built the utility duck banks and buried the vaults and manholes. Stormwater teams buried a system of structures to manage millions of gallons of water flowing off the Short Hill Mountain. Concrete crews poured gutter pans and sidewalk foundations. Skilled workers set the curbs and sidewalk pavers. Electricians brought down traffic signals as roundabouts emerged. Landscapers planted native trees and shrubs. Utilities pulled cables for conduits and began splicing. And the installation of raised crosswalks began. It's safe to say Hillsborough will never build another road, so town leaders were determined to leave no effort undone to get it right. From design and engineering to materials and methods, financial controls to administrative coordination, partner communication, and public outreach. They built trust, confidence, and shared responsibility among all of their partners. I, along with the previous Board of Supervisors, was proud to support Hillsborough's traffic calming and pedestrian safety project and their application to NBTA. I was there the night the Hillsborough 26 made their case to this authority. What an example of positive citizen engagement. It will go down in Loudoun history showing that even the smallest of towns can make the biggest of impacts on our infrastructure. This is at Loudoun and I want to say how incredibly excited I am that the Hillsborough project is going to be completed for this year's tourism season. Now more than ever, that is so incredibly important. And I also want to thank the NVTA for your investment and Loudoun counties, not only in the infrastructure and in understanding and recognizing the important role that roads play in moving our visitors, our residents, our commuters safely through Loudoun County. I oversee the daily work to make sure that your investments are being spent with great care while maximizing quality and productivity. With your contributions and the taxpayers' dollars, I've already witnessed how this transportation project has benefited the growth of this town, the Route 9 corridor, and the surrounding regions. Thank you, MVTA. Uh, Team Hillsboro has indeed been a great steward of your investment of taxpayer funding by bringing this project in on time and within budget. So. NVTA and Loudoun, you're investing in more than just a road calming project. You're investing in the future of Loudoun. Thank you very much. But none of this would have been possible without you and VTA. For that, we are eternally grateful.